Back in the beginning, we were building systems for municipalities, for counties and cities, and now it's everything's global. My company, Skyhook, is uh, originally a uh, uh, provider of lo location on mobile devices. Right? We just we build location based on Wi-Fi that tells it's a blue dot on the map. The data that's spun off of that is an enormous exhaust that everyone is now using to discretize and compartmentalize into pieces that can be used for analysts, for people like you know the folks in the lobby, um, and a lot of the talks that we're giving here today. Um, the same things that were happening in the municipalities, like the same level of detail, like footprint level accuracy, high spatial temp spatio-temporal accuracy, that was only possible, was even a stretch back then, you know, to do for a county or a city is now expected and possible globally, which is awesome. And it's just gonna get easier and there's just gonna get, continue to be more of it. So um, yeah, it has always been relevant, um, but the, I think the, the, the slope and the trajectory of it just is going to continue to grow. If you're in the analytical side of things, there's a, kind of an expectation of there being data available for how many burgers are being sold in the McDonald's on the corner versus the one um, three blocks away. That is only becoming a reality now. Everyone is just kind of running to keep up with the expectation that everyone has. It requires thousands of people working on hundreds of problems consistently with just this persistent attention to these problem sets. Many of the rules which were written 30 or 40 years ago in the primitives and the, the geospatial science that was laid down and it just continues to layer on top of itself. So it is just going to continue to you know blow out and explode into it. Just a necessary component of of any analytical stack.